Hey, welcome back to my channel. We always have to fight to manage our money, especially the people who are living paycheck to paycheck. We have the money, but then we have to make sure that our money stay or we can pay our bills, utility, foods, everything until the next paycheck comes. And that's where the big challenge comes. I'm going to share a couple of the tricks and tips that you can use it and save some of the money take down your expenses and make sure that your money do not run out before your next payment comes first thing you should have is your budget budget is very important when you have to make sure that your money is not run out and you have enough money make sure you have the list of the expenses that is going to be occurred during the time frame fix expenses like utility rent food expenses some bills mobile bills etc etc and few expenses that can become randomly. Those expenses you have to have some kind of a buffer. Note down those things, make sure to stick with your budget and spend the money which you really have to on particular line item. That's how you can control your expenses. Make sure to have some kind of a buffer before you are run out of the money. Number two, have a financial goal set up. Financial goal are two types, long term financial goal and the short term financial goal some kind of an expenses that you have to pay in a couple of months or couple of years where the some of the kind of an expenses you have to pay in a kind of an a decade for example if you are in your 25 or 30 and you are planning for your kids education those are kind of an a long term financial goal where you have to pay a rent for or you have to make sure that you have enough money for the next six or eight months of rent then those kind of an a short term financial goal having the financial goal set up is keep you track record of your expenses, your earnings, and it also keep you motivated to make sure that you are having a good habit of the saving. Number third, set up an automatic saving. The automatic saving is a kind of a process that as soon as you get your paycheck, it's next day or depends on how you set up, the money goes to your saving account or maybe it is goes to your investment account. I have done my setup that every paycheck, I'm investing some of my amount in a stock market on the index fund. This is not an advice, I'm just sharing my knowledge. You can do whatever you are convenient and whatever you wanted to save it, how you wanted to save the money. That's how, do it automatically. How it is going to be helped is because as soon as the money comes, it will go out to the saving account. Then you know that what is the money left, that is only for your expense. So invest before an expense. Number four, regularly reviewing your budget how your expense is going, how your earning is happening, how your saving is progressing, that is a very much important. Many times it happens that few expenses that we are doing, which is not really utilizing. For example, you started a gym membership or a Netflix membership, which you are not regularly using it, just stop it immediately. If you are just spending money and you're not utilizing, it is waste of money that you can save it. But how you will come to know? That only you come to know when you are reviewing your financial things. Number five, have a separate account for a separate expenses. For example, day-to-day -day expenses, you can use your checking account or a credit card and then you can pay back to the credit card. But for a longer term emergency fund, make sure you have a saving account, different saving account that you have to monitor it and make sure the amount is keep over there and it is safe. You can only touch that amount when it is really need and when you have really an emergency. Otherwise, you should not touch that amount. And last but the most important, pay off your debt. Paying off your high interest rate debt is the most important thing. As soon as you start paying off those high interest rate debt, it is giving you the more flexibility, it is giving you more money in your saving account because you are not going to pay the high interest rate. Paying a 25% or 30% interest rate on a credit card is very very bad. It is such it is going to drain your account completely. With the lower interest rate is the best thing. And always make sure whenever you have the lump sum amount to paying your debts in advance, that will help you in the longer term to save you more money, build your wealth, build your saving. This is the only first video that about the saving. How will you like it? If you like our videos, do not forget to like, share and subscribe and put your comment what is the next topic we should cover on this video on a saving money or the personal finance. I would really appreciate if you can provide your feedback because that's what 
we need to make our content more better content which our audience like it thanks for watching